Well, hello everyone. What is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and we are here with episode 15 of Red Dead Redemption 2. In the previous episode, we made our way into Valentine, where we picked up some weapon upgrades for two of our rifles and also a new outfit from the General Store. We made our way over to Albert Mason, who was just outside Strawberry, uh, round about down here, where we began the Arcadia for Amateurs questline. Uh, basically helping him take back his predator bait from a coyote that ran off with it. And then we finished up with the first part of Geology for Beginners, which was another collectible strand that was given to us by a guy who wanted us to look for uh, rock carvings. So, yeah. Anyway, um, obviously we have a new set of off-camera work to start off our episode today. I didn't manage to get any item requests, but I got a fair number of random events. Uh, we... Took in all of the snake, wolf, and squirrel related items, and I gave them to uh, Mr. Pearson. I got another rank in the Master Hunter and Herbalist challenge, and I also gave Charles the Oleander that he needs. So I'll whack those in here, and I'll see you guys when we're done. Can you? Please! I've been on the run for days now. Uh, if you could help me with these shackles, I'd... I just might have a chance. Oh! Oh, oh, yes! Yes! Perfect! Ah, thank you. Mm-hmm. I... I got no money to give you, but... I think I might got something even better. Well... Some drunk's been hoarding his money in this little place south of Rhodes, down by the river. A lot of money, and very drunk. At least that's what they say. Oh, yeah? Why'd I be interested in that, huh? Um, I don't know, just a hunch. It's up to you, friend. Think this makes you a hard case? Huh? All right. Glad to be out of there. Damn nasty.
earliest you stop paying into the box. I've been sort of busy, Miss Grimshaw. Mm. Well, we all need to eat, Mr. Morgan. Lenny? Hey, Arthur. That knife's sharp enough, ain't it? Depends. Why? You feel lucky? Do you? Oh, but for me, at least six generations were born in chains. And for the last three years, I've been running from every lawman and bounty hunter west of the Lanahassee River. So yeah, I feel lucky. I'm the living embodiment of luck. That is one way of seeing things. But I'm also skilled. And in this game, you got to have luck and skill. And stupidity. The outlaw's trinity. Luck, skill, and just a dose of stupidity. Come on. You ain't too old and too slow just yet. After you. As you wish. You know, we should head back up that mountain sometime and make Jenny a proper grave. Some nice. All right. Hello, mister. Hey, buddy! Good to see you again, friend! I've only gone and forgotten your name. But worse than that, I've forgotten my own name, too. It happens to me. You ever forget your name, mister? Sure. See? We're made for each other. I mean, as friends. I knew it! There's a big crazy fella with a gun, and I'm a little crazy fella. Can't afford a gun no more. Stick with him, Jimmy, I said. And then I, I said, your name ain't Jimmy, it's Mickey. And then the fella I was talking to in my head, even he didn't want to talk to me no more. I'll see you around. I've gotten real confused. Okay, then. Got Bill. What? Who has it? Bounty men. I found their cam nearby. They got Bill tied up. I'm gonna go take care of it. Come on. Oh, sloppy Bill. Yeah, well. You coming? All right. Lead the way. So how'd you find him? He said he was going hunting. Never returned. I was able to track him pretty easily. Only a matter of time before they decide to pick up camp and head for town to collect the bounty. Guess we're in sights again. When are we not, Arthur? Fair point. What'll Dutch do? Ain't for me to say. Doubt Bill will like it, whatever it is. He's a problem. We all know it. Is that for me to say? Yeah, I think it is, Arthur. There they are, on foot from here. Take out your position. Hey, you idiots ever hear a Dutchess voice? You're gonna pay for this. You have no idea what hell is coming. Your way. We're shaking in our boots. <laughs> <laughs> Shut you up. 
Just in time. for this. Well, I'm gonna head back to camp, find a bottle, and nurse these bruises. Yeah. I'm headed to camp as well. Thanks, Arthur. Tucker! Tucker! Where are you, Tucker? Hey! You there! Stop a minute, please! I'm looking for my friend. We was in the cabin, and he went out to get firewood, but he got lost in the storm. I'm getting real worried, mister. I was searched everywhere. Would you help me look for him? All right. Guess so. Where are we looking? You're a good man. Bless you. I I'm going to keep looking around the cabin. That's why I last saw him. If, if you could search the wider perimeter, I'd really appreciate it. over on a rock. <laughs> Listen, friend. <clears throat> you might not want to see him. Oh, Tucker? Oh, God! Because we are here yeah. today for a very special occasion. Yeah. Woo it is <laughs> imperative that we re-establish sanity yeah. and supremacy before it is too late. Our numbers are waning, thanks to the fools in Congress Ooh, and their just... ludicrous no. ideas. Damn. Hell with it. But today, we grow one yeah. more. Yeah. 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 As we Daddy. anoint a new brother oh, yeah. into you our sacred cause, yeah. please yeah. step forward yeah. and kneel. Right. <laughs> Do you choose to accept the light? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. Come on. Yeah. There we go. The eternal ah. light shines. Yeah. Yeah. Then you better not drop it. You better not. Come on, you pair of cream pies. 
Do you want this rally to happen or not? <laughs> Yeah, it was a pretty sizable set, that wasn't it? <laughs> it took me forever last night, I can't believe it came down to over 15 minutes, but it is what it is. So, first of all, let's start off by putting our new uh, ingredients to see how they add up. Uh, so, I've still got nothing in satchel. I think... Um, let's see, we've got the camp tables. Chuck wagon, done that one, main campfire. Uh, there we go, so we've got the wolf skull, so that's from the carcass, that's good. Two snake skins go there. Two perfect wolf pelts go there, so... Uh, let's see. So I don't know where the, the squirrel and the other wolf pelt must go towards the satchel. Uh, see, that's where the squirrel pelt goes. Maybe it goes to the materials. I'm not sure, unless it was one that I already looked at. I don't know, but... That's all that does. So we've got a couple more upgrades for the camp. Um, I think what I'm actually going to do to start off with is I'm going to buy the rest of at least the lodging uh, stuff because I know it actually opens up fast travel, which would definitely help out in the future rather than be able to go everywhere on my own. Uh, I don't need the stocking up. Uh, let's see. So, yep. Yeah, so, Dutch wants something comfier. So other camp members have been inspired to contribute more. Good for them. Can't believe that, as you saw in that cutscene then, when uh, Miss Grimshaw had the nerve to come to me and say I'm not bringing thing in, things in for the camp. It's just it's outrageous. But that should open fast travel, so that should be good. And then, uh, prove the test of the tents. Overall mood at the camp. That's nice. So now they won't get arsy with me for everything that I do. But you're not doing anything for the camp. Like, excuse me, I've just brought in a lot of meat for you guys and supplies, and I've contributed more to this camp than anyone else ever. But you know, let's just get the chicken coop, get everything finished. Well, there's actually one more upgrade that we can't yet uh, get, which is the camp boat, which I believe we don't unlock until chapter three. So, but for now, we've done everything that we can do. So. I expect everyone to be on their hands and knees saying how much they love me. <laughs> uh, and let's just contribute what I have left to do for 250. Uh, which for me is just 50 more dollars because when I was doing that off camera a bit, although I didn't include it because you guys have seen me do it before, I contributed another 100 in total because they were getting arsy with me, flying around the camp. So there we go. That's everything. Okay, now I'm going to finally deal with Hosea's mission because he has been bugging me. For <laughs> feels like weeks now. Hey, it's like, hey Arthur. hey Arthur. Yep, I know, I know. There you go. Let's go hunting. You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? I wish. No, I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. Tell you, you notice how well. Odyssea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite old. <laughs> Arthur's Tosh is coming along okay, now. Ain't no boat to see. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big. Loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I. Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him, you could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses, and the stables always have the best ones. Uh, I 
I guess you're right. Okay. This is really look. fun, Arthur. Oh. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Easy, big feller. All right, let's head into town. And maybe stay out of the saloon this time. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good idea. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse pack at the Valentine's table. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, oh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there. Came back in the next day and he woke up and started right back drinking again. <laughs> uh, I miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well... Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. <laughs> That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Just feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You find a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Okay, so I believe this mission introduces us to stables so we can um, get new horses once we've uh, done with the ones that we have. Uh, like maximize the bonding with them and such. And it also unlocks legendary animals, which is what the spur is that we're going after. It's our first legendary animal. Let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. You're a right boy. Yeah, good boy. I oh, forgot to say, probably didn't want to get in front. Oh, I was in nearly rides a tonk with traffic. What the hell, man? Wait, where, where, where are you going? Come on. Control yourself, fool. So we literally just started bonding this horse only to. Uh, give it in straight away. Like if we were doing it with the horse head so far, it would make sense. Okay. But I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. Lovely. Meet you back here in a bit. Damn, that horse got quick, dirty quick. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. Yeah. And what about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I show you. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. Okay, um, let's, let's stable him, so then I can um, carry on working uh, on the horse bonding when we get to it. So we get a Morgan American Standard bred a Dutch Warm Blood or a Thoroughbred. Uh, I think that it was the Tennessee Walker that we just had, so you get a Thoroughbred for free. Oh, is that what we just gave in? Yeah, okay, never mind. Uh, Let's get a Morgan. Sure. What am I going to call this horse? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, hang on, how do I? Ah. You know what? The OGs will remember. <laughs> Philip. Hang on, no, I haven't gone too far. Philip. Call him Philip the Elder. Because uh, when we 
if you uh, don't know, but when we were playing the original Red Dead Redemption, it was Philip, and then when he died, I got Philip the second, and Philip the third, and Philip the fourth. We ended it with going Philip the Elder for now. I don't really have a, a planned set of uh, names, but uh, services, equipment, saddles. I can't really be bothered messed about with all this as of yet. Doesn't really matter too much. Services. Oscar package, alright, sure, I could do with that. Uh, that'll do, I think. Alright, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's going to look after you just fine. One for Lipper. Interesting choice. <laughs> How much did you pay for that thing? Not that much. Okay. I want a brush. Well, I'm going to go study it first. Some good care, you should be able to make something of it. Can I? He's not letting me brush. Oh, oh my God, what am I doing? Oh, Arthur, turn around, turn Arthur. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what is going on? Are you going to mount that new horse of yours or not? I'm trying. I'm trying. He's going. Um, one for it. Cool. Up up the there, let's go. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. Oh no, that's uh, miles run run away. Back <laughs> in the mountains, I sure didn't figure on that. But this time we're doing the chasing. Crikey, so O'Reilly. things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Maybe. But please don't you put that to the test. Oh, okay, we're quite some time. Right? Good. So Craig's run was where we got the third treasure in the Jack Hall gang one, which is way up in uh, the northern regions of New Hanover. So it might not be that long a distance compared to when we were in okay. Amberino. I think we need to head right up here. But still pretty long way away. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. That's helpful. Yeah, the legendary animals are good for bringing pelts to the trapper. We've not actually dealt That's with the trapper good. yet. Good. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. Well, at least Sean made it back. And how he's enjoyed his hero's return. Yeah, he'll still be celebrating a month from now. So how bad was it? Blackwater, I mean. Yeah, pretty bad. Swarming with Pinkertons. No way we're getting back in there anytime soon. Well, let's just hope they don't find that money. Yeah, the reason why we've not really dealt with the trappers of yet is because I'm focusing on getting the pelts in for the camp. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. I'll try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. 
just ruined the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes. And obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. Excuse me. Okay, well, we've got our varmint rifle, so... No problem. Come here, you little thing. Okay, it's not actually marked. Oh, no, what are you doing? Stop, stop, stop. Arthur, 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 I'll just run over it then. That's, that's going to make it great, isn't it? <sighs> right, put it, put it on, on Philip. Now, let's go to Hosea. <laughs> let's say baby steps. All right. Getting late. Reckon we should camp here. Sure. Yes, I know what I'm doing. I know. Done it all before. Oh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. Okay. Get out some clean game. You want some of this? Nom, 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 nom. Uh, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. And nom 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 nom. nom. Alright, that's enough. Alright. Well we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. Well, it better be worth all this drama. Let's sleep till morning. Wimber hunt. But yeah, like I said, we'll work more exclusively with the trapper once we've handed in all of the components we need. You ready? With Mr. Pearson. Oh, Coffee? We might do sure. legendary Take animals as we go in through as well, and hand them into the trapper. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track them, but we might need to lay bait to draw them out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. And a lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous, but we'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And... If he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I'll tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. Okay. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on okay. bear meat. I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Okay. All done. Okay. God damn it, I'm gonna need to shave again. <laughs> His hair grows back very quickly. Facial hair, I mean. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in... It's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No. Of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, 
really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's slip by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Okay. Can do. Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign of him. Oh, something over here. Bonkins. Oh, some marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell okay. which way he went? I can do. Uh, oh, I see something going over there. Wait a minute. The fish. Something on the ground here. Half eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything oh, else. Another one down there. Dung. Just here. There she is. Here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's got to be close. Let's keep going. Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him. For now. A little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we. Split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work. Which do you think? Hmm, just bait. Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. Okay, okay. Uh, right, so we'll put the bait down. There we go, drop some goodies. Thousand pound, you say? More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. Whoa, no, I'm not. Seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. I don't have my rifle. <laughs> Let's just take a look at that bait. Oh, careful there, Jose. And gun. You only just said it, Jose. Uh. Because that's my house. <laughs> I thought I had the bear charging towards us. Got your knife. Oh, hello. Hello, handsome. No, it's too close. That he's had to use a pistol over it after all. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. <sighs> nothing at all. Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar. Gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> he said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to 
lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? Well, I'm gonna stick around here for a while. <laughs> uh, I'll see you back at camp. Yeah. Okay, well, we've already gone over time this episode, unfortunately. You know, the, the mission itself is bleeding long. Uh, let's see, how did we do? I didn't get gold. No, 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 no stop the, the bloody satchel. I don't care about the satchel. Uh, uh, shoot the bear at least six times, chuck the bear within one minute, 30 seconds. We didn't do it in 12 minutes, yeah, that's fair enough. Okay, so that is what we're going to need to end it for today. We'll have a look at our uh, percentage. So 28% total completion. That's not too bad. Another mission in the bag. Uh, what we're going to do next time is we'll start off by uh, hunting this legendary bear. Actually, we'll um, have a look at that map that Jose just gave us. Uh, so it shows where everything is, obviously. The bear is just up there, but there's things all over the place that we shall be hunting in total. Um, but we'll start off with that. We'll then head over to the second part of Arcadia for Amateurs, which is, of course, all the way across the map. And I think with the, enough, with the remaining time... We'll start seeing if we can work on some collectibles that are around this area. I've got a map that's got like all the cigarette cards and uh, shacks and this, that and the other. So we might be having a look into that. But yeah, that's where we're going to end it for today. But not before I thank my amazing patrons. My £5 plus patrons are Ron Hyler and Ever the Snake. You can find links to their channels as well as my other £3 plus patrons in the description down below. And I'll you'll see you credit to my £1 plus patrons. Thank you so much everyone. It's truly appreciated and it goes a long way to have with the channel. So I do thank you a lot for that. And if you wish to join those patrons, you can follow the link in the description down below to my Patreon page. But you don't have to do that because at the end of the day, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. And also be sure to share the video. And I will see you guys in episode 16. Bye guys.